Hello YouTube, it's Unis93 coming back with you another video. Um, sorry I haven't uploaded it lately. You know, I've been uh, quite busy with uh, work and other things that have been coming up lately. So uh, this will be my deck profile on my Dauntless deck. Um, so let's get a going. We have uh, my starter, which is uh, Dragon Knight Satifith. And the um, main reason I like using him as a starter is because basically if I get rid of anything on the board, with uh, Tanel Griffin, uh, Dauntless Reverse, Twilight Arrow, and such. Um, he goes in soul and basically gets rid of another free card. And also with pretty much all the strides, he basically allows me to burn away more units for free. And he also lets me get rid of units that need to get off the board as quickly as possible. So he's a really good starter. Then we have our trigger lineup. Uh, we have, I run four. Uh, Blizzard Soldier Vichera. Um Main reason to run him is I like his skill of when something dies or when something is retired uh, by one of my effects, uh, I toss him back to deck and I choose a unit and it gets plus uh, 10k. Um, the main reason I like that is his skill. He can make, uh, if I have like a grade 1 on the board and I use some form of skill to retire a unit. You can make the unit big enough that I don't have to worry about uh, triggers. So he he allows me to hit uh, hit good enough numbers. Um, and all the other triggers are kind of a blanket. So I run uh, Barbara. Mostly I just like her because of her art. Uh, then I have four of the dra uh, Dragon Mage. I uh, like because same. I like the art, and there's not really a crit trigger that does anything for Dauntless. So I think the only one that has uh, triggers for him is Blade Master. And then we have uh, for Ekaterina. I like her. She's very cute looking. Um, I would like to have Gatling Claws in this deck just to. Able to snipe starters off the board as quickly as possible, but she does uh, what uh, what is needed. So I run rainbow uh, triggers in the deck. Um, then we have our grade one lineup. So I run four protect orbs because it's a very counter blast heavy deck, and this allows me to counter charge. I have. Uh, two lava flows because striding is a main necessity. And since I run eight grade threes, having these in the deck allows me to continue the consistency. Um, four, so Dragon's Broken Market Beer. She mostly lets me have my limb break active. Mostly it's for reverse, if I have to ride a reverse, so I can start popping off units. My opponent has a pretty big board. We have, I believe, three Athonics. He's mostly here because if I kill something and I need counter charge and I need counter blast, toss him to soul so I could. The easiest way I can get him if I have like no counter blast is stride into root flare, use a skill, plop a column, skill, go into soul, and I have two free counter blasts for next turn and such. Um, then we have our two Calamity Tower Wyverns, mostly uh, to get uh, cards out of my soul. Uh, be like a protect orb if I have to ride it, or some something else in that matter. And also get to draw a card. Um, and now our grade twos. I have two Hulk Roars. My minion is a really good, uh, really good creature because he's uh, when something dies, uh, he counter to kill something else. It's really good because also really combos really well with the Thonic of making his skill free. Of getting rid of just the Thonic. Then we have our four Twilight Arrow. Uh, I just like him because he puts on pressure, because you swing with him, counter blast, you kill something, and just he gives the pressure because he pops away something on your opponent's board. So I really like that. Then we have our 12k attacker for Dauntless, which I really like because he, he, he always can swing out of Vanguard in this format, which is really good. We have our grade 3s. 
full Dauntless Reverse. Um, I like him for his first. His first kill is really good. He's a counter blast uh, lock unit, which most times is Calamity Tower Wyvern. And then when I drive check grade one or greater uh, Kagura unit, I uh, choose one opponent's grade one or grade less units. I retire it and he gets plus three. So he also makes it uh, easier to get triggers off uh, during drive check. So if you want to uh, like one to pass and get two grade ones or grade one or graders and get like a trigger and then well it, it depends he he his skill can come really in, in clutch especially with uh, dauntless if you break right over him he uh, he can swing and also keep killing things and then we have our Dauntless. Um, he's the main kind of bread and butter of the deck, pretty much. He does on Limit Break 4 when he's being, uh, when he gets right on. He has put a Stun King, gives the skill of when your opponent, uh, when, uh, when you swing with your Vanguard um, to restand your Vanguard, basically discard through your restand, um, which is really good because uh, him, uh, in my opinion, I really like restanding Vanguards. Because they uh, they put in extra pressure, especially if your opponent's low in hand and they're high, at high damage. Pretty much allows uh, it allows you to just push for game quicker. And then we have our stride lineup. So we have one Vortex Desire. Uh, he's pretty much my main first stride. Um, so that's the main reason that he's kind of ran in the deck as a one of. We have our four Titans. Uh, most of the time, he is the second stride in the deck. Uh, well, I should probably explain Desire. Um, Desire is pretty much when he attacks, he flips the unit, and most of the time, I just flip Titan, so that Titan skill can continuously go off. And if he hits, he will retire two units since he retires, counting for himself, and then he counts for the heart, which is a very weird ruling, but uh, it's interesting. And we have Titan. Um, so basically what he does is counter blast, flip any unit that he wants at GB2. Um, then you retire units up to the face amount of copies of him. So usually on your first try you're going to retire at most one or two units. And then if the amount of units, and then uh, if he's blazing, so basically it, blazing is Kagura's keyword. Um, basically if he... If you have more rear guards than your opponent, so basically Dauntless's skill, uh, secondary to get uh, plus power uh, as a grade three. Um, so basically it's that, and then he gets plus one crit if he plays it. So pretty much uh, clears the board and is also plus crit. Um, then we have our Irresist. He's kind of uh, kind of filler, but I really like him as well because he. He can blow a row, and your opponent is just keeping everything in their back row, and they always, most people don't know what the heck this card does. It's just hilarious to see this card hit. It's like, bam, goes back row. I'm like, wait, why did my back row? I thought it was killed call. Yeah, he killed a row. And it's good because it's for a soul less, and soul in this deck is kind of easy to get. Uh, we have our two novels. Uh, this is basically your win condition card. Basically, uh, this card is at GB2, counter blast, choose copies from the uh, turn phase up. Um, basically when this thing swings, your opponent can't guard with grade ones from hand, and also, um, if they're at five more damage, so basically you use right into this, your opponent's at five damage, any trigger effects are nullified. Also, it really sucks if you're facing angel players, because, uh, you can screw with your angel players really, really badly. Which I love doing. Uh, then we have our four root flares. Um, the main reason for my four root flares is I really like this card. And uh, he allows me to just uh, punish my opponent if they established way too far into the game. And if I ran out of all my Titans. We have our G Yards. We got, in my opinion, one of the best G Yards of the game, Denial Griffin. Basically, it's a. Uh, basically, this is Sakuretsu armor for a counter blast if uh, people play Yu Gi Oh! So basically, uh, put this in the Guardian Circle, kill the rear guard that's swinging, and that's that. And if you combo with this, you basically you can get rid of the other column if you want to. Um, if your opponent only has another unit there. So this card 
this G guard is a really, really, really nasty. Then we have our two uh, Axel Orbs. Um, he's kind of here for now because he's the only other G guard that Kagro has, but he's still good because basically if your one does not commit to a full board, he's always going to get 31. And um, that is uh, basically it. That is uh, my Dauntless deck profile. Um, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the future.